Hey y'all, it's Friday. Whoop, whoop. Just another day in the hood over here. Poor love bug's been working 15 hour days and he is exhausted. But they can't get this well figured out and they don't know what's going on and it is a circus. It is a mess. And uh, he's always, he's having to go all the way to Piot, which is about an hour and a half from here. So it's, it's hard on him right now and I hate it, but I mean, he does what he has to do to get our bills paid and I appreciate him. And we don't live extravagant at all. We have the bare minimums. I think the only thing we have that's a, a wishy wishy, you know, extravagance is internet and cable. Other than that, we just don't have anything else. Uh, what's it gonna say? Yeah, I don't, I think everybody's trying to use the air conditioners at once because we're having some flickering of the power. So, I don't know. Right now, it's cold as hell in here. If y'all don't believe in those, uh, uh, damn it, those blackout blinds, you're missing out. Right here, we don't have them, the sun shine through because I'm supposed to have some kind of sun come through the windows. I'm not allowed to be in total darkness. But if you look behind me, those right there, you don't see a stitch of light coming through those. That's one layer. And that, so the sun faces that. And you can't see the sun. Um, I get them at Walmart, the good kind, not those cheapy dollar store that nothing. These were, they're like $9 and they're, and they're fantastic, fantastic. It keeps it dark and cold in here, which is awesome. Uh, and then that air conditioner is running on economy auto. It's not even on low cool or anything and it's cold. That's the way I like it. Cause us fat girls, we have our air conditioning. Okay. I took y'all's sweet little advice because um, I posted a uh, finished dish dish finished dish cloth and everybody's like well put a little water on it block it and it'll be fine and everything I was like okay okay because the other ones I didn't I didn't put water on and I didn't really block it I mean I put it on something heavy and but this one I put a little water on and blocked it and it's still just a little bit <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit um wave, you know, a little bit of curl in it. But it's it needs to be overnight blocked and I understand that. But here is the knit Tunisian knit dish cloth. This one's bigger and I just put two colors together. Um but it's I need to find a bigger hook because this is so thick, which is good, you know, it's great, but I think it's a little too thick, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think you can really have too thick of a dishcloth. You know, get in there and scrub. I don't know. I use sponges, and I know y'all are like, oh, sunshine, that's gross. They harbor bacteria. Well, yes and no. Um, I get the, was it five or six pack at the dollar store um, for a dollar. Seriously, you get six sponges six seven sponges for a dollar and I change them out once a week and um, just kind of do it that way because uh, I, I use so much bleach y'all we've already established this but that's why a lot of these washcloths I'm gonna make are gonna be white uh, so I can make one for me because I, I want to see how what it holds up to bleach I'm gonna give my mom a white one um because we're gonna go see her this weekend and the kids and I want to see how it holds up because she uses bleach like I do. And um, I like to see how cotton holds up to that and see how that goes. Also, I'm bored and I just don't have yarn that goes with other yarn. So I'm just picking up some stuff and just doing a mindless granny square blanket with some, uh, I think it's um, Impeccable's version of Karen Simply Soft. I like it better. But I'm doing it in a little mint green colored. I'm having one of those days where I can't find a pattern I like. And the patterns I do want to do, I don't have the yarn for. Or I have part of the yarn and I don't have the yarn for the other. It's so frustrating. But you know, I just don't do yarn shopping right now. Because that's not a priority. Um, so, 
may be here soon. Um, this is not my way of asking for donations. I don't need them. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I'll get there eventually. Just haven't got there yet. But I found a couple of new patterns that I really want to try out. I get bored doing the same one because y'all know all I do is make blankets. What am I going to do with all these blankets? I don't know. But if the power goes out and it's the middle of winter, I'm staying warm. <laughs> we got enough blankets, we could probably supply the whole neighborhood on this side. Yep, I'll show you my office one day. I got two and a half totes full of blankets. <laughs> Yep. I don't know what else to do though, you know. It's not like I I could make other stuff, but why? It just sits in totes. Um, so other than that, that's all I've got going for now. Just making I, I do like this this softer yarn. And it's probably gonna be a baby blanket. I try not to make baby blankets with the pastel colors because they don't you can't grow with it. You know, that blanket's only going to be good for the first year, if that. But I figure if I keep it, you know, pretty solid or whatever, I might get away with it. I don't know yet. I don't know. You know me, I fly by the seat of my britches. What time zone are we at? Six? Okay, I gotta wrap it up. Because we had this discussion too about the internet being slower than shit. But you know what's sad is? There's an internet slower than mine. I met with NetWest and Crane. They're technically out of Odessa. There's one called Suddenlink. They are the worst. It is like dial-up. They are dial-up, I'm pretty sure. It is bad, bad, bad. So I can't really complain about ours, but it is. Oh, and one more thing. Y'all notice that my, my tunnels are two different tunnels. Uh, one's a screw-on tunnel and one's a uh, double flare. Well, because this ear's bigger, and these fall out of this ear. So, I finally bit the bullet, and I'm at a double zero 10 millimeter gauge. I bit the bullet, and I bought some eyelets kind of like these. Let me show you. Oh, wait, this one won't come out. That's a good thing. Oh, there it goes. You know how they're thin? Well, I bought some 11 millimeters, which is the next size up, for this, this one. And I'm going to test it out and see if I can, I should be able to get that in there because like I said, these fall out of this and these are double zeros, but I'm also going to try and see if they, the 11 millimeters go through this one without pressure or without strain or without ripping. Um, cause I don't want that to happen. Uh, so we're just going to give them a try and see what happens. Um, what is your, what's that website called? I don't know. Plug your holes. I know that sounds weird, but it's plug your holes. Oh, and I'm raising worms. You know, like Sunshine, you've lost your fucking, I mean, freaking mind. Um, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm growing, I'm farming worms so I don't have to buy bait no more for when I go fishing. I can just pluck their cute little bodies out of their homes and go take them and fish with them. Um, and I always find worms fascinating. Mom said I used to eat those roly polies. I don't know technically what they're called. Um, I'm sorry, my nose is running. But they're they're the doodle bugs. Mom said I used to eat them. I'm like, thanks, Mom. Fantastic. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. That and Mountain Dew. Because we all know Mountain Dew makes you go bonkers. Uh, so, you know, hey, whatever. Um... But I need to get an aquarium or something bigger because they're in a little bowl and those guys aren't doing I don't want them to die. Um, so I'm going to have to get something bigger. Where are we at? We're at nine minutes. Jesus, I need to shut up. Um, but anyway, all right, guys. Y'all have a fantastic weekend. I will might do a video while we're out and about. I don't really know yet. But if you are near Bowie, Texas today, holler at me and we'll do a meetup. Love y'all. Bye.